Welcome back to Darwinian. It is time to Darwin this campaign. Well, as soon as we can throw Mordor out of Middle Earth, of course, because that is a victory condition of our faction. But we're making pretty good progress here. We've thrown them out of Mordor. That's a start, isn't it? Now we just have the rest of Middle Earth to throw them out of because those festering things have spread like a plague through the land. And we shall not stand for it. Allow me for a moment to gush over rooibos tea. Rooibos tea is for you who want something flavorful and loving. Something that has a good flavor profile to it, but not necessarily any stimulate, stimulants in terms of content, you know? Something that doesn't perk you up or keep you awake at night. Yeah. It's, Rooibos has got none of that, but what it has got in spades is, wait for it now, flavor. Uh, and it's a flavor that some get along with better than others, but you owe it to, tr to yourself to try if you have not already. If uh, Because oftentimes herbal teas can have the stigma of being sort of uh, weak flavored, you know, that they're not really all that... Um, Yeah, all that powerful in the flavor department, but rooibos tea very much is. Oh, looks like we have a riot situation on our hands. Two of them, actually. Well, adopt, adapt, and improve is what I say. Uh, war is declared between Kazadum and Gundabad. Hmm. But yeah, today's tea is absolutely a rooibos tea, and I urge you to try it if you have not already. It's a lovely thin of beauty. It is also known as red tea. Red tea and rooibos tea, they are the same thing. So find either one, and you find them both, so to speak. Two for the price of one, not really, but still. You know, sounds good to say, doesn't it? Dum 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 dum. Mataram gets communal farming. Oh, what a lovely place this is going to be. Um, Rubar gets a practice range. Archer range. Give it to me. And then Seragost. Yeah, you're just doing what you're doing. It's fine. Dulgaldur gets an armorer, which is a wonderful thing to see, and the apothecary shall be a nice addition as well. But actually, that armory is going to be really tasty because it takes out almost 200 in uh, corruption. Of course, it takes some building income, but you know, more than makes up for itself. So that's nice. Um, it's actually going to increase your income. Yay! Bursautis. Hmm. It looks like we can upgrade this place, which is perhaps what this one is going. No, Boom and Monarchus can upgrade. Ooh, well, that is nice. And it can train a bunch of lovely troops as well. Your will, my lord. As you wish. Orders. Yes. Tee By your command. For the light! Rubberk. You're gonna need some tombs. And it's a large town, so it should be able to get the maximum temple thing as well. And a tower, yes, you are also getting tombed, but not all, not before you've uh, had some standing stones to your name. Brawler's Pit, get rid of it. Faction announcements. Vanderkind. Welcome, good sir. Yes, my lord. So here we can take all except you, I think. Yeah. 
This is shaping up to be a lovely army. You're going to come by Santanwi? There's, there's going to be lovely folks there for you to hire. Yes. Or just bring along, actually. Uh, da -da -da -dum. More elves. More fun. More glory. Hmm, hello. You can go for Cap Vanderkind. Captain Vanderkind! Hmm. So many wonderful folks to be trained and retrained all over the place. Yes, my lord. Hmm. Your order. Guz! You're gonna get some spearmen. As you wish. Merging armies. We shall continue tomorrow. Yes, my lord. Making camp here. Let's see, what's coming at us at the black gate? A bunch of black orcs and gazook. And Mordor comes for us at Dantalad. I'm gonna stick you. Still featuring the most annoying beasts in the land. Time will tell if we'll be able to actually shoot them down. Last time we did not have any luck at all. At your service. Orders. By your command. We can go no further today. Make camp here. Elves. March to exhaustion. Continuing later. Okay, okay. Um. No training necessary in Saragost, really. There will be much honor in defeating you. Your orders, my lord. Yes. That's what lord. doesn't seem to help the public order lord, thing much. But, 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 but. Uh, he might help it once the wall of hall is repaired. This one, it's a bit trickier though. Gonna have to hold out for at least another turn. But usually, when there is an improvement in public order, it strongly reduces the uh, risk of uprisings. So that's nice. Um, we're just keep, gonna keep those Mordor forces moving. Who are you and why are you on my soil? You pillox! Yes, my lord. You're ruining my view! Get out of here! Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. How are we doing over here, Austin Gael? One turn remains. Here, the dwarves are heading for the fort, and they will take it. It's going to be great once it happens. Um, that's about it, I think. Now, perhaps we should hold. Up Keep an eye on uh, Erendrunen, this large city over here. Ooh, Camel's Shadow Guard. Well, well, well. It appears they are planning to resist us. But they do so with units that are relatively vulnerable to archer fire, which is not in their best interest, let me tell you. Yes, march to exhaustion. Yes, my lord. Welcome to Dolgaldur, bro. Here. Your orders, my lord. Your presence will, yes, my lord. in the long run, allow Bland orders, to uh, leave. But let's uh, hang on a little bit. Oh no! Ah, oh, crikey! 
Did you see that? Uh, and here comes Gazook. With a bunch of orcs and something to prove. Yes, my lord. Preparing the men to attack. And he's gonna prove, quite simply, that men do it better. Now, I'm not overly optimistic about the prospect of putting um, our crossbows on the wall. Simply because the, the wall is, you know, what it is. Um, it's so high up that it might not facilitate much, but it will probably help a bit. I think it will be good. We'll just need to be a bit careful about where they shoot. Same thing about these guys, though. So where are they coming? They seem to be coming in... Seems that they're going for this gate, everybody! So, let's absolutely smash some crossbows up over here. Come on, come on, come on! Come, good sirs! There we go. If you're over there, well, big if apparently. If you're over there, can you reach them? Yeah, you sort of can. Okay. But you, you're not gonna have the best shots in the world. Ah, oh, it's probably gonna be okay, I guess. Let's just hope it is going to be okay. So we're gonna have you over there, we're gonna have you over there, we're gonna have you over there. Like this. Crossbows. Sir. Weapons ready. Like this. Crossbows. Like this. That's your lot. Then we have a thorn guard with the general. Hmm, okay. Dorwinian infantry. Okay. No back talk now. Yep, this is our line. This is the point that we shall hold and which the enemy shall not dare to cross. Come, Mordor! Try to take back your old place. I dare you. Why is it so hard to place troops properly on this specific section of wall? That's a bit better, I think. Alright. Shoot the lock gun brim and uh, number two, yet you are absolutely not firing on things, so that's good. How are you doing? Let's see. Mmm, yeah. Middling to not the greatest. But you'll still take some out, I suppose. There's part of me that thinks that it will be much easier to kill the enemy when Weapons ready. Men of the thought. when they come inside. Men of the thought. I mean, for the for all their joys, some of them do shoot straight. So that's nice. Let me get some of that rooibos tea. R as red as the blood shall flow from our enemy. Except, uh, I think the film's established that orcs have, like, black blood, don't they?
Well, well, 6% of the enemy army. It's not too bad. If they can get up to 10% in total, those three units, I'd say we're done all right. For that would definitely be hundreds of orcs. No longer walking the earth. Weapons ready. Eleven percent, that's nice. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice. Where's the general, I wonder? Oh, there he is. Hello, Uruk Bodyguard. Yes. Been marching in amongst his men, trying to use them as human or orcish shields, as the case may be. But now. Haha! <laughs> Look! He's going to face a hail of missiles on his own little lonesome. And they're going to be decently accurate because a lot of these guys are pretty darn experienced as it turns out. 16% of the enemy army gone, that's really good. I guess that's equivalent to them taking out uh, three or four units on their own. So that's really good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Enemy have the walls. Looks like our defense or all will be lost. Okay, time for these crossbows to start doing their thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's definitely going to hurt quite a bit. Guardsman. Could you shoot the enemy, please? Maybe moving a bit closer will help you. I don't know. All right, I think we need these guys down here on the ground. These guys down here as well. They're all going to be much better utilized on the ground as of this moment. Those southern lancers need to go down. Can you facilitate that, dear friends? Uh, you're having some trouble, but you're getting it done. Okay, good. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. general lies slain upon the battlefield okay that could mean some bad things but I choose to remain optimistic 
most of the enemy army is slain, so hopefully our lovely folks will be buoyed by this development and not in despair. Oh no, they're just storming for the... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Infantry! Run and greet them over there. It's all we can do, really. The feat seems almost certain. Nah. Doesn't seem certain at all. Well, maybe if you're a pillock it seems certain, but if you're a powerful soldier of Torwinian like you and I, good sir, then surely you can see that we are going to win, not them. No back talk now. But plenty of robust tea. No, ah, okay. Run into the square. The enemy is no longer in command of the castle. Come on, everybody. The feat seems almost certain. They have only ten percent left. How is defeat certain? Swinging in up. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Apparently, there wasn't long, a, a long way from pain to pleasure. But there you go. That's just that's logic for you, everybody. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their That'll help life. proceedings a bit. Are they fleeing or are they invading? Ah. They're fleeing, they're fleeing. Okay. So. Does anyone remain? Does anyone remain? Does anyone want a piece of this? Oh yes, those harbadiers do. Behold how our ah, and they run away. Runs. How nice. It's time to press the attack. Yeah, we're good. This is a clear victory. Three hundred and thirty crossbowmen, two ninety one crossbowmen, three hundred and seventeen crossbowmen. Very nice, but also three thirty nine bladesmen. Ah, it's good to see the standard contingent of Darwinian fighting with such prowess.
Uh, and here comes this thing again. It's very possible that we'll simply edit this one out, but... <laughs> Let's give it a try anyhow. Don't worry everybody, dear viewer. The spearmen are on their way. The javelins are coming and they are going to take those beasts out. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Alright, how are they coming at us this time? Same as before. So this time... Ah... This time we're going to try and get them in the best possible way. Gonna use all of our available options to cause carnage. And then we'll see if anything will happen. And then our sweet archers will run over here. Alright! Crossbows! Are you ready to fire? Are you ready to load your weapons of war? And train them on the enemy, just like before, but with more accuracy this time. Great beasts, please. What are Quinty Sentinels? Beasts, please. Beasts, please. And here. Let's see if we can actually fell these creatures. Uh, let's run you a little back. I think that will help. You're all doing the awkward firing animations, aren't you? Awkward firing, awkward firing, up in the sky they aim. You know, some of you are shooting, shooting a bit better now. It seems. Yeah, some of you are. You know what, that just might be good enough, who knows, for taking out one or two. <sighs> okay, let's put you all like this. See if it does anything. Yes! One beast is down! Okay, it's working! It's working, everybody! It just might be working! One more beast is down! One more beast is down! It's down on the ground! One more beast is down! But of course then... The real you realize that once those beasts are gone the enemy general lies dead. We'll have to fight the rest of the army with basically no ammunition left. So that's gonna be fun, isn't it? Come on. One more dies, and they're running amok! Okay, excellent! How many arrows do we have left? Burger all! But we're gonna make them count. We're gonna use them as best we can. And if need be, we will go into melee with our crossbows. This is, of course, not the ideal situation, but it's one we might have to resort to nonetheless. You have any arrows? No. 
So. Ah, there comes the ram. Hello. Our archers, they'll be pretty good fighters though. So I'm happy to use them. Happy to use them. We're going to start out with our initial defenders in guard mode. Uh, they're out there! They're out there! Are you sure they're on the other side? Yeah, 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 they're out there! I can hear them! I can hear them! Don't you think we should turn the same way as the others? Oh, the I'm, I'm just thinking that... That, 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 they might jump over the wall. They might just not jump over the, the palisade. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. But probably not. The enemy have the walls. Okay, come with your Moran and guard. Let me slaughter them, everyone. That general's dead. That definitely helps quite a lot. All right. Don't we need infantry? In there you go. Let me have some tea. How are we doing on that shooting there? Oh, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Okay. We got the most out of our final one and a half volley. <laughs> okay. The enemy is trying to bulldoze through our spear wall. Bladesmen, follow up and make sure that they don't get that far. Um, you know what? And um, crossbowmen, we want them over there. Then we have our high paladins that can come in at the end and hack their way through their tired troops, aided by the Moriquenti sentinels, of course. We've taken out a lot of them, though. 18%. Pretty good. Pretty good so far. Considering that we have to slog our way through 4,000 orcs. Or maybe 3,000 before they uh, decide to, you know, run away. But yeah. That's going to be quite a lot of stabbing today, my men. Quite a lot of stabbing. But, sir... What if I don't like to stab people? There's gonna be quite a lot of stabbing, my young sergeant. There's gonna be quite a lot of stabbing. So says the captain. But, 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 sir, 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 sir. Um, I, I may be called so Sergeant Pussywurst, but... Correct. But, is it really necessary to do all that stabbing? I mean, stabbing 3,000 orcs, that sounds like a really, really exhausting ordeal. Yes, but stab them we must, good sir. Stab them we must. So get to it, Sergeant, and inform the troops that the only person I will tolerate today is a person who has stabbed at least five orcs before the fight is over. Five? Pers five each? Yes, yes, look at man, five each. Five orcs for each person. And the rest will be disciplined. With what, sir? With what? Stabbing. More stabbing? Yes, if you fail to stab too much, then you will be stabbing too little and we will have to discipline you by training you in the delicate art of stabbing some more. Though, of course, exactly what will be stabbed and where will vary. We will be... Bringing in the dolls, and you shall stab, stab away till your heart's content. 
Is that what I think it is? No. I'll do it anyway. Discipline me, Captain. Discipline me. I will not. Don't talk dirty to me, you foul-mouthed buffoon. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I just got overexcited about the, 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 the art of, of, of raunchy discipline. I'm sure you did, my son. I'm sure you did. Now go and stab some orcs. Remember, five stabbings, five stabbings. Five stabbings, five stabbings coming up. Five stabbings. Uh, d do you want extra onions with that stabbing, sir? No, I just want five orcs stabbed in the chest, in the heart, in the throat, in the neck, something. Or even in the shins. You can stab them in the shins as long as they fall down and don't bother us anymore. Okay, so okay, so okay, so I think I've got it now. I think I've got it now. Five orcs stabbed in the shins, an extra milkshake, and nothing more. No, nothing more than that. And yes, um, strawberry milkshake, please. Excellent, sir. Excellent choice, good sir. The strawberries are very nice this time of year. Now go! Go stab your orcs, bring me a milkshake, and we shall win this battle once and for all. Yes, sir. And the Moroquenti Sentinels are now making their way into the heart of the enemy lines, and so will the High Paladins. We are already seeing routing on from the Black Urux, no less. So this tells me that if we just push them a little bit more, we'll be able to get some pretty fun results for everyone to see. Push through them, my men. Push through them. And they will flee before you. We shall also put our Thorned Guard into Shield Wall. And then we shall see a push like no other. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Just driving a wedge through their forces. 63%. Four. Can we get a five? Yes, five. Excellent. Seventy percent. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. This is absolute bedlam, and it's pretty fun to watch. Okay, guys, I think we did it. Now there are just some Morgul Chosen running around over there. Looks like they've been trampled by the beasts one too many times, but uh, we won't hold that against them. Okay, High Paladins, you just stand by over here. We're gonna go out of Shield Wall now. Our troops are pretty exhausted at this point, but uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, they've done a lovely job. Oh, hello. Orc host, trying to get some. And there is indeed milkshake for everybody and stabbings. Ooh, that's a that's a pretty uh, pretty frightening one. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Just keep him there for now. Okay, time for everyone to start fighting the Morgul Chosen. And High Paladins, you just turn around. There's a vital task for you to perform over here. Okay. 
Attack them from behind and close up that gap there. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and ha! them down. And they try to run, but they are caught to a man. Or to an orc, I suppose. So, it appears that no editing was necessary. We managed to place <laughs> our crossbows in just the right way to allow them to take on the beasts with any kind of accuracy. And then we smashed them. Quite resoundingly so. 405. 412. Nice. 362 from the Darwinian infantry. Sentinels, how did they do? 86. Well, well. <laughs> that's not too impressive, but... Again, they were focused on the beasts. So, you can understand it, you can understand it. Crossbows, crossbows, these crossbows did really well. 211. Well done, lads, well done. Maybe that's because of their inaccuracy. <laughs> they shot so far behind all the beasts that they actually hit the enemy behind them. I can absolutely see that. More tea, more rooibos. This is a rooibos tea with papaya. Because as it turns out, dried papaya is excellent in tea. Vinitaria is attacked. Oh god. Come off it, Dolgul Dua. You must be drunk if you're sending this our way. Well, well. Okay. Um. We're going to quick save it. And we're going to take him on. <clears throat> and then, another Guldu... Dol Guldurian. Guldurian. Guldurian, can you say this? I'm gonna say that. Another Guldurian town becomes our prospective home. Our terrain is not even that shabby. Though, to be honest, I'll probably want to just strike out at the foes that will come in behind us. And this cavalry unit can actually just take on the archers themselves. What do we have here? Dogs are archers. Go get them. Okay. Then, we have an enemy army over here. Hmm. Perhaps we should go over here. It's a pretty nice location. Dominion infantry, head over into those guys. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Now the harem are doing a magnificent job. I wholeheartedly support their efforts. We have yet to lose a single one, and they've taken out 5% of all enemies on the field. And we slaughter them to a man. 
Slaughter them where they stand. Slaughter them, everyone. Slaughter them just for fun. Ah. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Oh, sweet Dol Guldur archers. It just is not your day. Oh, and the captain falls. Push into them, guys! Push into them! And aggression wins the day! Schmackity 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 schmack! And then we charge them in the back. Foe run. We've captured the enemy's general. That'll teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. Lovely. And they're still fresh. Aww. It's great to fight with endurance. Okay. Let's see. What comes at us here? A bunch of bad orcs. Are the protectors ready? Yeah, they're getting there. And they're very quick to form up. Which is something you see in higher level units. They're really quick to form up. Hmm. Whereas the cheaper units tend to take quite a while to find their ranks. Are you running away? Don't go do this, it's beneath you. Come back at once. I will not say this twice. All right then, the Merkwood Hunters. Pretty terrible unit all round, but they entrusted their general to this one, so uh, maybe we shall have to, oh, hello, stalkers. Shlugabop in the way, but you know, have to punch through them somehow. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Excellent work, everyone. And now the archers will take over the show. The main difference between our archers and theirs being that um, ours are actually good. Sorry, Dolgul Tour. It's not personal. Hello, Merkwood Hunters. Would you like to die? Because that is simply what you're going to do. You see that? You see that? The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. If 
If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their Our men. men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Yay! And they all run away. And now we just use our cavalry to catch them, mop them up. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Sorry, Dolgodua. By the victory we have won here today. Yeah, it's pretty good. The Naharim. <laughs> 479 casualties and 419 caught. <laughs> and many of the shadows gained experience, which I am very happy with. Some spearmen doing good things. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. Our presence in Murkwit grows more and more formidable by the day. And then we shall shake hands with our elven friends and say, Ah, oh, hello, aren't you happy to be living right next to us? And then we'll hope they won't attack us ever because, I mean, the AI does abhor a vacuum. There we go. We have triumphed. Central Mukwood is ours. My lord, our courage and honor have conquered. Another thing we'll just leave behind the Dorwinian infantry and the Thorn units. And push on. Push on to the next one. Now we did lose a settlement down here, didn't we? Yes, yes, we sir. did. And here is the gruel. Ooh, this is actually pretty hairy. Maybe we should run away. Honor, making camp here. And reinforce. Orders, my lord. As you wish. March to your orders, my lord. Perfect. They will meet up with Captain Head. And uh Hade. Yes, my lord. We shall continue tomorrow. Condiment upgrades, which means a Mason's Guild House is not far behind. Talathang. Yeah, you'll just need uh some growth hormones, you know. And we're going to grow Enmahath as well. It's going to be great. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And Happy Town's Mason's Guild House is completed. Whereupon we celebrate by building a tomb. That's very celebratory, isn't it? Apparently, it is how we celebrate the Northman culture. Mm-hmm. Orders. Yes. This tower will keep vigil. Your will, my lord. Yes. Austin Gale is ours. And the Brawler's Hall there. Mm, let's get rid of that. Beast Breeder. Nope. Don't want that. Can't use it. Your orders, my lord. 
Villeric. Yes, my lord. Hiding from the enemy. Your orders, my lord. Build a tower. tower the so we can project our power. How is Dol Guldur doing? Oh, they're really sad. How is Mordor doing? Oh, they're also getting a little sad these days. Don't know what could have caused that. No idea. How about uh, Canned? I guess they're still in pretty good shape. Yeah. We've barely scratched the surface of their potential, apparently. To exhaustion, continuing later. Your will, my lord. Wagon. Yes, your will, my lord. Joining forces, my lord. Gonna join in forces with all these lovely people. Hello, Grubrick. Stick you as you command. Taste of my blade. You sad, sad person. Yes, my lord. They're not gonna accept us Your order, my lord. just yet, but Bondi Come is back. going to have a lovely little slaughter. Muster your courage, men! We march into battle! And then this episode will essentially be over. A lot of battling in this one. But most of it with very positive results. Alright, it is time to shoot some trolls. Oh, hello, the cavalry is way out on the side. First order of the day. Take out the cavalry. Come on, Southron Lancers. You know you want it. Otherwise, why would you be here? This is clearly Darwinian territory now. Alright. Then, trolls. We're going to weaken them to the point where a single volley of javelins can take out the rest. Or perhaps we're even going to kill all of them, who knows. But we'll try either way. Oh, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. I like it. I like how it looks. And they're dead. Yay. And then the bodyguard, also almost dead. Yay. And he runs, he runs, and he's dead. Yay. Anyone gained experience from that? Mmm... Oh, an RM. Okay. <laughs> I can't help but feel that we should s perhaps try to send some troops back to the castle, but then send the rest of the army to Keradungal. Because with Keradungal in our hands, we have smashed every single settlement to pieces. At least every single one that could produce a beast or a troll. Glory, that honor, is the most salient victory. bit, I feel. So, yes, what happens if lord. we send those By over there? Command. Helps a little bit. Your orders, hmm. my lord. How about you? Do you help? Yes. You help a little bit. Yes, my lord. Hmm. How about you? By your, command. <sighs> your orders, my lord. 
orders. Your will yes. We can go yes, my lord. With honor, we can go no further, my lord. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. So they're going to build a stronghold. I'm not sure that's going to help too much on public order. I mean, yes, it will reduce squalor. It will reduce squalor by quite a lot, I think. So, actually, that should help. Okay. Good. Um, and then, of course, we have some thorn units coming in. And they're numerous, and it's lovely. Goody, goody, good. Don't we need infantry? Oh, yes, and we need to retrain some folks here, because otherwise the enemy is suddenly coming back and saying, Woohoo! You missed me, didn't you? And then I'm going to say, no, I actually didn't. I'd much prefer it if you just went away. And then they would say, too bad, I'm here now. Order. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens. My lord. Your will, my lord. There we go. That should do it. And then we get some more bladesmen. And bladesmen are always good in the defensive. Um, <laughs> Augmund. Yeah, just doing what you're doing, Dantelad. Yes, hello, hello, hello. Retraining all your things. Retrain you. Retrain you. And then... Get some of those guys in there. And we're trained to armor, apparently. Yes. Very good. Yes. By your command. Yes. Whew. A very productive little episode, I think. Mm. Your orders, my lord. Oh yes, we have an army wandering around here, don't we? Will, yes, we do. Lord. We have some armies As you wish. to keep up with. With which we must keep up. Yes. Bandakind, come this yes. way. Elven warriors! Elves! My lord. Hmm. These lord, elves can join together next turn. Making camp here. We shall continue tomorrow. Yes, and Gus. With honor. Coming. We can go no further, my coming, lord. coming right along. Your orders, my lord. We shall continue tomorrow. I'm gonna stick and you these swordsmen, they're gonna start heading to Mor to the Moranan. Yes, my lord. We can go no further, my lord. Your will, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Yes. Oh, we can recruit some woodland warriors. I want some woodland warriors. Let's get those elves on board. That's excellent. Yes. Friends from the woodland realm. Let's have another time. Oh, yes. We were about... Ah, oh, I forgot all about that. And apparently the auto-resolver Drollberg resulted in a lot of dead protectors. So, some retraining will be needed. But most of the army can just continue. It's fine. Orders. As you wish. March to exhaustion, continuing later. Ah, Morigos riots anyway. Damn it. It's a little annoying, but this is, it is what it is. What can we do? Uh, do we have any quick fixes here? Not really. Not, not quick enough. But let's see what it does when we put Captain Tate in there. That definitely helps. Okay. Um, we are going to go Lord's Hall. I think, or maybe Armoury. Yeah, armory helps a bit more. And then we're going to go Mason's Guildhouse and then build up our cultural infrastructure from there. Yes, Bondi? With honor, we 
Right this way, good sir. And so it's time for Avalon to shine. And he can actually bring some of our shadows with him. Yes, Yes. Good. Avalon the Conqueror heading to Urk Esdalad. And he shall take on Durtang. Hiding it's away right. in the shrubbery, right. hiding away yes, in the bush. With honor, we can go no further, my lord. Hiding away where the enemy can't see us, and where we might prepare an ambush. Doodle -doo. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. Finishing all the buildings and making all your dreams come true. Yes, I know. All you dream about is the success of our military logistics. I know, I know. And this is why I'm here. I'm here for you. Captain Turtle Waffle, very much here for you, dear viewer. You. Hmm, Thoroughbund. It's looking pretty good now. Let's go for a uh, stronghold upgrade and then we'll see. And then Austin Gale. Let's get a tomb. Your orders, my lord. Yes. This tower and that's a perfect location for a tower. The next turn, you. we'll have a perfect occasion to strike at the As enemy. And draw them out of their hideout. Yes, and a tower can Elves. ship on some yes. horsey no boys. And over here. Your orders, my lord. We have Captain Head meeting up yes, my lord. My lord. with Athelwad. Your orders, my lord. Your will, my lord. By your command, my lord. Yes, we can go no further today. March to exhaustion, continuing later. Can Sergos return? No, not those. No, 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 no. But eventually, eventually we will. My lord. Dantalat. Uh, Dantalad, Dantalad. I don't know. I'm not sure about the pronunciation and the details of it, but. Hello, Orkish Army. Where are you going, Orkish Army? Are you going to visit me? Hmm. I have a little bit too much in my hands right now. Can we schedule next next week? Hmm? Hmm? Maybe not. Maybe not. But either way, we're having a good time, and even good times must come to an end. These go home, these can go home, and the rest can sort of just join. Yes, your will, my lord. By your command. Look at that. Vlaburg is absolutely yes, in a good place. Your no. orders, my lord. Yes, um, my lord. Your orders, my lord. With honor. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Yes. Making camp And then we send this man to Take a look at Galabrin. 
I think. Either that or we go for Bayon's Hall. <sighs> but the fun has sort of gone out of it because I've turned it into a large blippin' city. But we do get to fight like the last non school in the world, yes, so Hmm. Yeah, let's do that maybe. Yes, my lord. Without question. Hello, Railsman. Would you like an alliance? It seems quite Lovely. Well. Military access? I accept. Well, Lovely. Yes, stopping here. Oh, all right then. Another ally secured, and we can walk through the lands to get to their old capital, which we will take, and um, reclaim the name of all good fun. And with those lovely words, good fun for everyone. I'm going to wish you all a lovely, lovely, lovely evening, day, morning, whatever time of day you watch this. I am in full favor. Just uh, yeah, pay attention to the world around you. Be kind to the good people around you, and make sure that you get enough smiles during the day. I wish you the best here from uh, chilly little Denmark, and I hope that tomorrow will be better than today. Captain Total Waffle, tipping my hat to you. My silly little captain's hat. Captain Total Waffle, considerably out.